Hello viewers, I am Dr. Karki Banerjee, attached to Bhagiritha Nyutia, uh, Rawdon Street. Today I would like to tell you a little bit about contraception. We know that pregnancy is a joyous occasion in a woman's life. However, unwanted pregnancy can be very traumatic for the woman in uh, particular and can be quite a burden for society in general. An ideal method of contraception therefore should be something which is highly effective with very few failures, safe with few side effects, easy to procure, easy to use, relatively inexpensive and is equally acceptable to both partners in a relationship. There are many methods of contraception available to us and every day uh, we find newer and newer methods and therefore, it is suit therefore we should find something which is suitable for most partners. Broadly, methods of contraception can be permanent or temporary. We know that permanent method of contraception is basically a sterilization procedure where the tubes for either the male or the female tubes are tied or clipped and this is a form of permanent sterilization that means basically it should be reserved for all couples who do not want to have any more children because it is really irreversible so in general most couples will need a temporary form of contraception the commonest contraceptive use across the world is some natural form of contraception that is, it is abstinence uh, from sexual relationships during a fertile period of a woman's cycle. It is withdrawal during the sexual act. On, uh, and also, we need to remember that breastfeeding is an excellent method of uh, contraception. However, we need to reiterate that these natural methods of contraception are good for spacing out pregnancies, but because they have a high failure rate, it is not very ideal for an individual. For society at large, of course, they are very useful. But for an individual, there should be better forms of contraception use which have less failure rate. I want to talk a little bit about barrier methods. Condoms, we know, are the ones, one form of contraceptive which should really be um, acceptable to most couples, especially the younger ones young teenagers young adults more and more of them we find nowadays uh, with unwanted pregnancies and it is up to us as caregivers to somehow educate young people about the use of these condoms because we know that not only is it have a very acceptable rate of uh, pregnancy very uh, failure rate is low if it's used properly but also, of course, it prevents against sexually transmitted disease, which is really a very important thing to note. Keep in mind when counseling young people above all. Hormonal contraceptives, which are very for a common form use of contraception, is basically a combination of estrogen and progesterone hormones, progestogens, either used in combination or progestogens used alone. Then there are various methods of routes of administration. They can be used as oral tablets or they can be given as injections or they can be introduced into the uterus uh, for long-term contraceptive benefit. And of course, if the patient is, uh, couples are well counseled and the woman is chosen properly, it's an excellent method of contraceptive because it has a very, very low failure rate and also highly acceptable side effects. Therefore, we see that today there is a cafeteria choice. Basically, women are bombarded with a cafeteria choice of birth control methods. Then, however, even in the 21st century, why are then there so many unwanted pregnancies? Unfortunately, these methods are still not widely used, simply because of poor education and misinformation um, and false notions that people have regarding contraceptives. We therefore as caregivers, we owe it to society to spread the education and spread as across all sections of society and starting from a very early age as young teenagers in fact, starting from school to spread uh, information about contraceptives and to dispel all these false notions and misinformation that people have regarding contraceptives. 
Thus, I would like to conclude that we, a society can only boast about women being uh, emancipated only after women are free to choose when to fall pregnant and how often to fall pregnant. We must remember that it is the day has gone where women can be uh, treated as childbearing machines and instead the gift of motherhood should come to her as a blessing and not a curse.